and run the ball. So nothing easy here to start queuing over the four. Yeah, a little quick with the transition there and didn't get the cut on the one he desired. May not have left anything too easy though. On the five is very natural, of course, and I like his chances on the paint. One thing about Zelensky that I've, uh, I've seen, and it's very similar to, you might say, Ruiz. Once he makes his decision, he's not down on the ball a ton. Just goes with his gut and, and swings the cue, and you got to like that. Yeah, don't have a chance to second guess yourself. Yeah, a little think long, think wrong kind of situation for some players. And it starts above when you're up off the ball. When you start to question what you're doing there, it kind of lands and sticks with you when you get down on the ball. And quick work here from a, a very dicey rack to open this match. A dry break, a horrible way to start. Looked like it was going to cost him a lot. But in the end, everything has turned out in his favor. And Viktor Zelinski is going 1 0 up here. A little low on the ball there, but it's going to work out with the two near. And this part of the game, you know, it may not be as clean looking as Chang when we do get to see Chang get through some racks, and who knows when that'll be, but. But Zelensky, this is where he can certainly keep up with Chang. Now, if they get into a tactical battle, you got to favor Chang a little bit. But uh, if it stays offensive, which is usually the case for the guys who win the matches and hoist the trophy, uh, he's right in there and uh, he can certainly win. Now, looking at a route, two rails between the five and nine, back to the center of the table. May have to take a long shot on the four, we'll see. Oh, he caught the nine, so big mistake early. And that's what happens with those kind of shots when you're hitting the line. When you swing kind of quick on it sometimes, uh, you're really maybe not as dialed in on it as you should be. And now a big shot. It's obviously going to have to take a long one on the four, but now uh, the most important knocking this three in. This is where the ball could hang because it's more of a stun and Kind of creates a ball that you have to hit a little bit better. And this is the good thing about Zelensky as well. He'll take a little more time. Seems like when he when it's needed. A oh, real sweet stroke and very settled from distance. Purple bringing the cue ball behind the nine. He may just. Come back up on the eight. I don't, I'm not sure what angle he has. Yeah, it looks like he can come on the black with the cue ball. And he wanted to get the four past the side a little bit, making the kick shot pretty difficult. Or at least not that easy, let's say. Well, this really shows us why the game is so psychologically tough. Chang has had one shot, it wasn't easy. And that's all he's done so Attention, far, please. but he finds himself returning to the table, 3-0 down, and in a tough spot here on the four. Yeah, it's a game of runs with the best players in the world in the winter break format, and the pressure is there. That's why the winter break is so good. Now, this kick shot, I think, will be pretty light. A lot of ways with the 5-8 there, you can kind of leave something kind of goofy for your opponent. Oh, wow, look at that. That was the way to hit it, it seems. And he held for a tough cut shot on the five, but he will attack. Quite some way to break your duck in a match in terms of balls potted. It's a foul. Well, I was going to say that Chang's not going to worry about a warning. He always breaks them pretty firm and he got away from him there. Awful kiss on the cue ball. And after getting on the board, exactly what he didn't want. Well, 
Well, some big events over the last years going to help him here. Ooh. Ooh. So just kind of from nowhere, I think a little fortunate that failed, but a lot more work now on the seven to the eight. Oh my. Yeah, these are big moments. Uh, you get ball in hand after the break and get through the tough part of the rack. Kind of maybe took that six for granted. Definitely got down and shot it a little quicker than his norm. Yeah, he had the dry break in the opening rack, but look, that happens. So really, this has to go down. It's the first thing he's done wrong in this match. Yeah. Well, first miss, but the six was not so so hot itself, I get, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, but the whole juncture of running right. out of position and then missing Tension, the seven. Please. Hadn't done anything wrong in the whole contest up until then. And what a gift, really, for Chang. I doubt he comes past the side here. There's no real reason to. It could get you in trouble anyways. Yeah, just take the shot. There's a player, of course, that in America, and of course, if you know Poole, you know the name Buddy Hall, mm. the rifleman, and they always said he had the best cue ball, played the patterns better than anyone. And we all compare Chang kind of to the Asian Buddy Hall, also who was a big man in stature. But just super efficient, can also come with the shot. So Chang had the dry break. Zelinski could have, really should have, led 4-1. Instead of which, his lead is reduced to a single rack. It's 3-2. 5-1 now. Well, the serene progress of the early racks is starting to feel like a distant memory. Yeah, you kind of wonder on some of these misses, but, uh, you know, it's the Whirlpool Championships early in the match, early in the day as well. Chang has never won this World Championship, but he was in the final in 2019, beat some very good players to get there. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, Kasper Matakainen, Lu Hai Tao in the last three rounds to get to that title match and was in a strong position against Federal Gorst at 8 5, later led 9 7. Lost the next four racks though, <coughs> and then they effectively traded racks one for one from there to the finish line as Gorst became champion 13 11. Yeah, shot here you can't take your eye off of, and I like him digging into the cue ball versus rolling this. Much better strike there, and the, and did you see a little more time taken before he shot it? Yeah, I, I think, I think he needs to just settle in with the shot clock a little bit. So miss on the three from Zielinski. He was three 0 up, but now they're level. Yeah, we'll see how Zielinski can take on a couple of mistakes that really has kept uh, Chang in it early. Aggressive as Wu has played in this match, excuse me, uh, Chang has played in this match. Don't think you're going to see that here. He's got to just play the five back down. You could try, could try to get, you know, cute and hold him up behind the six, but easy to sell, sell out a shot. And uh, hit it too thick. He's made some uh, some errors with the cue ball you just don't see very often. One man who's not making too many errors today is Alban Ocean. It's seven one now against Mateusz Sniegonski. And that's to me, one of the big advantages of the taller guys, uh, the taller players is they, you know, the longer arc, uh, they seem to just get to swing from distance uh, a little cleaner and still get a lot on the cue ball. I guess the seven goes in the side here. This doesn't look like the side pocket I would want to shoot at, but he doesn't seem too upset.
Viktor Zelinski really needed this back-to-back -back break and runs carried him to 3-0 he then lost the next four but he's back on level terms now it's 4 all in the last 16 of the World Pool Championship Let's have a look at some of the key moments again in that ninth rack this is the jump this was the main moment really of the whole thing yeah, he still had to make some nice shots. The three to the four, a tight four by the seven, and then very efficient afterwards. As you saw there, that was Chang's second scratch off the break in the five that he's had. Okay, he's overcooked this a bit. So he's gonna have to play a little bit of a touchy shot to the five. The seven wasn't there. It's always a ball that's causing problems. If the seven wasn't there, drawn across with the nine, there's a little touchy as well. The five doesn't go by the six in the corner. So if football is a game of inches, as they say in American football, pool is uh, millimeters, I guess. And here is exactly what I was talking about. You can take on the five in the side, not the type of shot you want to put speed on, but no position. It's been a good five minutes or so for the Austrian contingent because Alban Ocean is now 9-2 in front of Matthias Sniagotsky. And Max Lechner has gone in front now against Wu Kun Lin at 5-4. Oh, really nice there and great recovery. Probably, even though it didn't look like much, one of the better shots of the match. And used in a lot of tournaments, it just gives you a, pretty much a perfect rack. I mean, you have to know how to use it, of course, and it can have some manual uh, mistakes, but but uh, obviously our referees best in the world, and, and it just gives us something that where the players can repeat. Even though it's still the break shots, kind of like the driver in golf, you feel like days you have it, and, and it's always going to be there, and then it kind of goes away, hides itself, and you wonder what's going on. Oh, big shot there. Yeah, put himself in a minor spot of bother, but right back in prime position now. And for the first time, he's going to have a bit of breathing space. Don't forget, Chang Yung Lin was 3-0 down in this match. Now he's just four away from the quarterfinals. He leads the local favourite, Viktor Zelinski, 7-5. He's queuing low. Is he stunning out, trying to get a cut on the six? Yeah, what a nice play that was. If he clips the six at all, he gets no offensive shot. And that's a sign of comfort, accepting this cut on the six. Or let's say more comfort. Gonna get there? No. Well, what a big moment this could be. Well, when normally the top players don't get the ball to the hole like that, it's normally a little bit of a D cell on the stroke. Viktor Zelinski has not won a rack on his own break since the third rack of the match. He wasn't expecting a few moments ago, in all probability, to win this one. But the six left hanging in the jaws. And if it gets out here, these fans know how crucial the moment we're in in this match, and you're going to hear a big cheer. And is the momentum just starting to ebb back the other way? Zelinski had fallen 8-5 down. He'd only won two out of ten racks at that stage, but now he's won two in a row, and he's one behind at 8-7. But if he's flat cutting it, he's got to go three rails up and down. He's obviously using a lot of left side. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. Oh, 
nothing wrong with the outcome. The I'm sorry, Michael. Go ahead. No, that was all I was going to say. Oh, was, it's one thing to get the snooker, but to get the snooker like this, cutting off a um, a doable kick shot, anyways. And the thin cuts have not been Chang's friend in this match. I can think of four of them he's missed already. A two ball, four ball, six ball. He didn't get to the hole, and now yeah. another five ball. Yeah, he's used his extension, so. Oh, he Bell. left himself tied up in knots there. He's so angry with himself. And look at this, ball in hand, 5-8 combination. No, you can place anywhere you want. Oh, that's where... Start shot clock, please. Using the extension early or, or maybe not in the right situation. Yeah, don't be afraid to use it, but use it at the right time. I'll tell you what, something happened there that was very questionable. And I, I don't know, maybe something that needs to be addressed later on. But when he turned his head, I, you know, the guys move the, the cue, cue ball with the cue stick with ball in hand a lot. Yeah. But when he turned his head, he incidentally hit the cue ball with his stick. With the tip? With the cue, it doesn't with, matter. With the cue, yeah, okay. It doesn't okay, matter yeah. whether it's the tip, whatever. I mean, whether it's a decision foul or not, does not matter what piece of the cue hits it, but but he was definitely not addressing it, trying to move it, you know what I mean? His, yeah, yeah, his yeah. head was turned, yeah, yeah. so. He may let these fly a little bit. Oh, wow, he missed it. Oh, is he gonna get it back. on the way back? He but is, no rail. but. But he's no left rail. it. Slumped shoulders tell quite a story. And a young man whose dream of winning That's the world shot, championship please. on home territory could be slipping away. That way he has a natural angle to come across. And this is where he's got to make his decision how am I going to play the six? Attention, please. Suddenly seen so much emotion, so much body language from Chang Yung Lin. Let's keep an eye on table three as well, though, because this could finish in the next few moments. Wu Kun Lin, 10-9 in front of Max Lechner. With a chance to finish this off, Lechner has been in the quarterfinals the last two years. On the brink of falling one round short of that this time. Man, it was a very scrappy match. It seemed like neither player could really run a ton of racks, whether that had been lack of shots after the break. And a lot of safety battles, jump cues being used very much. May get a double kiss on the six here, playing this combination. We'll see. He's going forward with the cue ball. Like that. A lot of the players will play the double kiss. That way they contain both the cue ball and the six. You really could see these two matches. The two compatriots finishing just about simultaneously. Yeah. Wu Kun Lin has been one of the real stories of this world championship, and it's a story which is going to continue into a quarter final, which may see him face the reigning champion of the world, Shane Van Boning. Wu Kun Lin, the winner over Max Lechner by 11 racks to nine. Back to the main table. It looks as though Sebastian Bakowski is going to be the last surviving home player in Poland's staging of the World Championship. Viktor Zielinski led 3-0, got off to an absolute dream start in this last 16 encounter. 
but he won only two of the next ten. He did take a couple to close to 8-7. But with three in a row, Chang Yonglin has ended Victor Zielinski's dream. Chang is the winner by 11 racks to seven. He's through to the quarterfinals once again. See he's striking down on the cue ball because he's got to try and stop the cue balls a lot of distance. Oh, is it absolutely sweet as an upfell first shot? What a beauty! All week's been the same. He started off beating Chris Melling 9 8, then he lost 9 8 to Chang Jun Lin. No disgrace there. Followed up with wins over Thomas Kaplan, Loho Sermon. Then to get here, he beat Wojciech Shevchik 11 1. He's a man in prime form. Intently watching that was our referee, Desislava Boshilova. Now, you were mentioning the, the break-off there from Wang, which might have been, in your opinion, called borderline. Well, Desislava warned Aloysius Yap about a, a less than Extension robust hold. break in his match against Chris Melling yesterday. So if she feels as though the balls aren't being hit hard enough, she will step forward. Well, I don't think his English is too clever, so you might not understand what the ref's trying to say. Cue ball scratched, I think. Yes, oh, it was always going towards that corner, so... Ball in hand. The opening two racks not Start really the clock, going please. the way of SVB. So that 13-strung Polish contingent at the start of the week has been whittled down to just Sebastian. I think there's going to be words here, me. I think there's going to be words. It is. I mean, the fact that he's come up dry might just keep Desi stalling a little bit longer, but it's, it is. It's a little bit soft. Calling a player for a soft break clearly is subjective. But you can see it. I can see it. It looks. Nailed on, she should say something to me. Pay attention to the cue ball. Oh, he's going to be OK, is it? Yeah, he's just sort of got there. A little bit fortunate. Could have gone anywhere. May have to play another cannon of some form or try and sneak behind the nine. Let's have another look. Maybe he can dig into it while he's looking at a cannon. But it could have been a lot worse. Whenever you're bumping into a ball, you never know where it's going to land. Has it run a little far for the cut? Well, he feels like he can cut it in. He got the line, but not the pace. How about that? The nine hanging and missably on the lip. Well, what a turn of events. Duong Kwok Huang takes a 3-1 lead, the title holder in a spot of early bother. It's costing two racks so far. That is what can happen. In pool, that is the game of pool. Shane knows this. He knows this more than anyone. Dong to break as he leads four racks to one. Cue ball, top left pocket. SVB is back out the chair. That's Long. unfortunate. Long. Long. I think this is not a forceful break. So next time I would ask you to put a bit more force in it. OK. OK, so to compound Huang's problems, not just the scratch, you might have heard in the background there 
the warning about the break has been issued. On reflection, I think the right decision has been made by Desislava Boshilova. He, not the man in that match yet. Oh, what a great hit. What a great hit. Looks easy, but many a player would have missed that ball. Yeah, he's left the pot, but it's not all doom and gloom just yet for Shane because of the red three. code well he's took a gamble he has took a gamble where's the cue ball he's put the brakes on I think he's got a stop button in his pocket Shane what's Shane doing it's not often you see Shane like that that's funny <laughs> Someone must have left the chewing gum on the edge of the pocket. <laughs> Where's Jeremy Jones? Is he lurking around that arena? <laughs> well, he is hooked. And he's missed it. Power shot. He's missed the kick. Big moments in oh, these hands. last two or three racks. We've seen it Start all. An Englishman went to America, played a lot of very expansive shots using side spin and that's why it's called English that one's called a mistake yeah he's been going for his shots all week so kind of don't blame him but it's one way to just gift the rack back over to your opponent as you've clawed a couple back What an effort. We applaud his enterprise, but will it backfire? Can SVB cut this in? It's very thin and it's going to be... Is it going to be awkward to control the cue ball? Can he miss the pink four and send the cue ball round to play the red in the same pocket as the two? It's okay. Yeah, there's distance, but at least he's got on the right side of the table. Need to bear down on this one, though. He's got to hit it pretty firm to get the cue ball out. All oh, right, in the centre of the pocket. Knows this game is starting to slip away. It's getting to the, the dangerous part of a match, the end of the match. So all these little mistakes now are magnified. Always good to have a Cinderella story in a World Championship, and that is currently going on on table three. Mohamed Sufi from Syria taking advantage of a scratch. Sorry, fellas, I was just going to say, he doesn't hang around, does he? He just gets on with it. Simultaneous nine balls. Sufis is quick as you like. Van Boning just slightly more cautious. But the three's in a horrible position.
So it's going to be the safety shot on the three. This is tricky moments now coming up for Shane. This is going to work out okay. He's really going for the shots, is Shane. If you recall the eighth rack, he missed a much more routine bank on the three than that. That one's flashed in with shape on the four. They look easy, but they are awkward then. Still got to find that point on the eight where you want. You know, you're so used to just naturally aiming for a pocket when you have to play a ball onto another ball. It just always feels awkward. We know that cheer by now. It is to herald a success for Badkowski on table three. That match is back and forth. This one, well, you can sense the feeling that Van Boney is now asserting his authority, his considerable authority. Shane Van Boning led, well, never until now. He was 4-1 down, 6-3 down. Now, though, he's 7-6 in front. Eight six SVB. With another fantastic break, he's going to get a shot on this in the side. break of SVB is such a weapon. It can completely alter matches and demoralise opponents. Yeah, when he was trailing 6-4 and he played a push out and tempted Wong into a shot and he, he turned it down but Shane cleared the table to get to one behind and it was a brilliant clearance, it really was. Now he's well he's doing what he always does. He's putting a package together. Fine players from this country. Who would have thought that Sebastian Badkowski would be the last player from the home nation in with a chance of lifting this title? Oh, where's the wide for Shane Van Boning? Oh dear me. Oh dear me. That's part of the game. You know, he makes golden breaks. Sometimes you get a shot on the break, sometimes you don't. And sometimes the pool gods are against you and the cue ball gets kicked in. This is what creates the drama. Well, he does have a shot on the two. And there may be a 3-9 combo available. We'll have another look where it finishes, but you can see it tracking up. It's definitely close. If he can get the cue ball onto the right-hand side of the table, he will clearly do that. It's not quite set. Just depends on what angle he's got. He's playing the combo. He may have to play for the pot, though, because it's not come far enough on the left side of the table. 
he had to land low or definitely further to the left extension please Yeah, he's playing it to the bottom left. Cue ball's going to be crashing into the nine. He's going to try and soft draw off it. He's got to be careful he doesn't hook himself behind the brown seven. Good call, call, And he has. He has. Look at that, the seven. Intruding. Yeah, at first I did think it had pulled up, but... There you see, he has hooked himself. It's not the most difficult to jump shots if he can reach it. And there you see, he's made it. Extension, please. He's trying to pot this in the corner. If he does, he's not going to land on the three, so he's going to have to play this hard. Oh, what a shot. What a shot this is. Is the cue ball going to get there? It is. That is absolutely scandalous. A stroke of genius. The fact that the two was nowhere near the pocket, I just didn't fancy his chances there. What a shot. Who knows? It's there, the jump bank. I think we were trying to get the cue ball in behind the six. Because it didn't go behind the six, he does have a pot on the two. It's a nervy one, this though, there's distance. Got to avoid the nine and the purple five as well. Oh, he's done well here. He has done well here. Are we going to see another hill hill? That was excellent, wasn't it? Excellent. in his mouth there. Van Boning would have been given a false hope. The three just about went in. Can he draw the cue ball straight back? Yes, he can. Remember, 73rd in the nine ball ranking, 68th seed here at the World Pool Championship, and yet he looks like a seasoned tournament winner at the very highest level. So many players fall victim to nerves. He hasn't. Far from it. Duong <laughs> Huang has taken Shane Van Boning all the way. And what's more, he now breaks in the deciding rack. What a story brewing here. Still defending champion. He's up against it. He does not have the break. Dong Kwok Kwan. He's breaking for the match and the place in the quarterfinals. The cue ball looked like it was going in the pocket.
the pool gods have been on the American side to a degree. We've got action in the final rack. Mohamed Sufi does not hang around. It is now 10-7 for the Syrian. Just a smattering of applause. He's on the hill. Tying the three ball up. Back to Duong. Can't really blame Shane there. There's no real obvious shot on at first glance. Good effort. Good shot. This rack is all based on that red three ball. The crown of Van Boning. This is about to slip. He will do everything in his considerable powers Extension, to avoid please. that. towards the green that will keep the purple five tight on the rail so there's no pressure on the object ball jump cue is coming out Used his extension as well. It's all about this three, isn't it? Can can he pop the five? And roll the two down table to leave an angle to knock the three nine out. He's looking at trying to do it now, but that feels a bit more guessy. Extension, please. He's trying to pot the five and move the three nine out. Just missed it. Where's it gonna finish? Where's it gonna finish? Wasn't the worst of efforts, was it? It was so close. Can he see an edge? He's got the jump cue. If he does pot this. Here. What have we got here? Overshadowed on table three, but the Polish hope. Badkowski is at the table, looking to reduce the deficit by another act to 10-8. But the big news is table one. The massive news. Valid effort, really, there from Duong. Well, I'm glad that nine ball has gone in to give us the opportunity to fully concentrate on Van Boning.
He was trying to make the six. He was trying to make the six. And this is a chance now. Of course, it's not going to be easy. It's the last rat. There's a lot of pressure out there, but this is a chance now. Life on the edge. You fly thousands of miles to pursue your dream, and it's all about a millimeter. He's feeling it. I mean, it should just never go in. It's that simple. It should just never go in. Shane van Boning has looked so good here in Kielce Poland all week. But is his dream of successfully defending about to die? You have to believe so. He's perfect on the eight. Just roll the cue ball through. And the champ is out. The valiant Vietnamese is victorious. The king of nine ball ball from 2022.